Well, if everything goes according to plan, I'll be moving in the next few months. So I'm trying to get as many project machines finished up as I possibly can, and hopefully I'll get the videos out. And I know I actually have quite a few videos to make on machines I've refurbished, like those two. So what we have here is a Dyson DC-17. The 17 was a dual motor system, and it was one of the few to feature what they call the, what was it? It was like Route 3, or Level 3 Route Cyclone, or something like that. But uh, what that means is it actually had three stages of cyclones, which I, I wish I would have taken a shot of this when I had it apart for cleaning, but unfortunately I didn't think about that. So I instead retained, because this is my uh, second one actually, my first one, um, the screws in the cyclone assembly were so rusted up that it just couldn't be opened for cleaning, and the cyclone assembly was just filthy in that. So, uh, talking to another collector, he's like, oh, I think I have one of those. So he sold me that one, which this one was in much better shape. Just needed a little cleaning, a new, uh, new HEPA filter and a new brush roll, and it was good to go. But anyways, on to the uh, Route 3 thing. So we have the outer cyclone, the low efficiency one, you know, so we have the shroud. And then from there, it would come into the shroud, and then there would be these two cyclones in the center, which would be the second stage. Now, each of those cyclones had uh, two air paths on them. So we would have air coming in like here, and then air coming in here, you know, kind of creating that swirling motion. Or, you know, it might have been backwards, but regardless, you had one coming in at some point and another coming in at a different point, you know, creating that swirling motion. And then from there, the air was drawn up and then into the smaller cyclones up here. So that was kind of interesting. So it's like your dirt cup actually has multiple chambers at the bottom. So we had, you know, from the second layer of cyclones, that's where things ended up. And then both of these represented a different chamber, although they were all interlinked. So, you know, either, either way, what came onto these two areas what was from the final layer of cyclones. Now, I have kind of a feeling that, you know, the cyclone system will probably result in lower airflow just because, you know, we're passing it through even more cyclones, which is probably why the Route 3 system was discontinued. But I have noticed beyond the 17, it was also used on some canisters like the 22 and 23, I think. <clears throat> But let's get on to the actual testing aspect of this, and then it's uh, going into a box until I'm ready to move. <laughs> So we'll take the hose measurement first. Then we'll take the suction. Oh, 
Well, I guess I have a little bit more work to do on this thing yet. It seems like the switches just aren't sticking in place quite right. And then the uh, suction relief valve appears to be stuck. <sighs> Lovely. I'll do this with the wand extended. As we can hear, there's a lot of leakage. Right around here I'm feeling it, and I'm guessing that's from the motor area. So, not a huge amount of suction from it. Now let's turn the brush hole on. You know, it helps if I don't shut off the power strip. fix the switches between a quick break. There's this annoying little uh, white arm that's on the brush roll switch, and I guess that popped out of place when I inserted it last time, so <laughs> got that back into place and it's working fine now. And uh, I will say the DC-17 has probably amongst the harshest brush roll I've ever felt. So I've kind of wondered how this thing would do in what VacLab calls his carpet shredder test. I have a feeling it would do very, very poorly, but I don't intend to use this unit too much. I was hoping the generic brush roll I ordered had, would be a little bit softer than the stock, but that doesn't appear to be the case. So it's like... I'll be careful with this one. <laughs> oh, well.